Greetings and welcome back to whatever the scum this is that you and I do here. The Chief Justice ruled that GCOM's Region 4 Returning Officer's Declaration of Unverified Results was unlawful and ordered that the lawful verification process be continued tomorrow, March 12, 2020. Before I get into details about that, I want to share my thoughts. Most of you believe, and rightfully so, that I'm non-partisan. When this channel was created, it was to expose things that were being kept in the dark by traditional media sources because of political correctness. For example, if it weren't for me, none of you would have known that Otisha does bugger little boys. I have always had a problem where I talk about a subject and give clean facts and some people accuse me of being biased because the news does not fit their ears. When I talk about what the PPP did in the past, you hear I'm pro-PNC. When I speak about the government giving us the shaft, you hear I'm pro-PPP. The truth of the matter is, both PPP and PNC are looking for me to clap two hot box in my scunt. Our core purpose is now to keep officials who represent us in government accountable, whether it's PPP or PNC. Once you do scunt and we find out, you will be exposed. This brings me to my next point. In the interest of not upsetting my PNC fans, I was in my corner shutting my scunt while elections were taking place. There were many stories from both sides that were not sitting right with me, and I decided that it would be best to speak on these matters after the elections and give my honest thoughts. In keeping with my values of being fair, I wanted to have enough facts before making any pronouncements on anything regarding elections. But the PNC is trying to rig the flapping elections right in front of everyone's eyes. I cannot see something is blue and hear someone telling you it's black. I, unlike all the PNC supporters who hate Jack Dio so bad that they are willing to stoop below low, cannot be a hypocrite. There's nothing Jack Dio could do to give back Mark Bench Cop the five years of his life that were wasted in Camp Street Jail. There's nothing Jack Dio could do to take Jumbies Loli out of Maria's pokey. And though Mark is my friend and I felt his pain, I cannot allow Mark to corrupt my sanity. Jack Dio cannot go back in time and undo the victimization of Gordon Mosley after he lose Kwame Makai and Nia Soban on him. And though I understand the shame that Gordon went through, I cannot allow him to corrupt my sanity. There's nothing Jack Dio could do to bring back the black youth that were killed while he presided. And Jack Dio had one of the most corrupt cabinet, starting with Leslie Ramsamy. To watch the PNC Reagan election in 2020 and rob Guyanese of the right to choose who they want their leader to be is a disappointment to many, including me who helped get them elected in 2015. It was time for a change then and it is time for a change now. That's why we have elections. So please Mr. Granger, release this nation. You nor anyone from the PNC do not own Guyana. Guyana is owned by all Guyanese. You have insulted our intelligence for too long and we quite frankly no longer have confidence. Now back to regular programming. Here's an update from the newsroom on what transpired in court today. And I want to take a moment to give the newsroom a shout out for their coverage of these election events. They have been on these elections like flies on shit. N.E. Ways. Let me see what the riggers will come up with between now and tomorrow. Boom out! The Chief Justice Roxanne George ordered that the Guyana Elections Commission GCOM cannot declare the overall results until the returning officer for Region 4 complies with the law. As such, she set aside the declaration he had made last Thursday. She ordered that the returning officer or the deputy returning officer must return to the process by 11 a.m. on Thursday, March 12th. How that process will run and who will be there, she said, is left to the returning officer, Claremont Mingo. His attorney, senior counsel Neil Boston, said he would do what the judge ruled. It was a bit disappointed, but we, ha we have achieved something. We, we are going back to GCOM and we are going to get the process moving. And then the de another declaration will be made. That's all I wish to see. That's all I wish to see. I have no doubt that they were acting reasonably in the process and they will continue to act reasonably in the process. What gives rise to the behavior, the disorderly behavior, is the political party mob. That's it. Private citizen Riaz Hollander, backed by attorneys from the opposition PVP, had obtained an injunction from the court blocking the announcement of an overall winner of the March 2nd elections, once it included the unverified vote count of the votes cast. He argued that the process of verification is referred to in the law as counting of the votes polled and is provided for by Section 84.1 of the Representation of the People Act, Chapter 103. The law states that the returning officer shall, in the presence of such persons entitled to be there, ascertain the total votes cast in favor of the parties. 
Section 861 lists the persons who shall be present at the counting of the votes. These persons include a. The returning officer and such other elections officer appointed by him, b. The elections commission, c. Duly appointed candidates, d. Counting agents, and e. Such other persons as in the opinion of the returning officer have good reason to be present. Returning officers for nine of the ten electoral districts followed what the law states and had party agents and local and foreign observers present. The judge ruled that the provisions are designed to ensure transparency. District 4 had 879 polling stations, but the returning officer only allowed persons to be present for the tabulation of 421 statements of poll and aborted the process after. He then declared the votes counted. People have to understand that there is a democracy at work and when political parties lose an election, they have to accept the results. In 2015, the PPP were told that they lost the elections and they accepted the results. No one broke up the process and that is what you have here. Hopefully now, one can only trust the RO will carry out his uh, instructions. It is not clear what happened with the statements of poll from Region 4 after the police ordered everyone out of the building. The attorneys have these comments to offer on that issue. Let us hope that the statements of poll have not been tampered with. Uh, you know the building has, has, has been um, under surveillance. I've, I've been, uh, we are, were locked out of the building, so I don't know what is happening with the statements of poll. And um, hopefully uh, the observers and the political parties will have an opportunity to be present at the process. I see some heads of state from CARICOM are here. Hopefully they oversee the process and um, we can remove the suspicion that is attached to the process and the system. No, none, not at all. And it will not be compromised. The Chief Justice in her ruling said she was saddened that the matter was being addressed all over again two decades after a similar ruling by then Chief Justice Desri Bernard. I quote, The role of the Elections Commission and its staff is to take such action as appears necessary to ensure impartiality, fairness and compliance with the provisions of the Constitution and any other acts of Parliament. In the present volatile situation which pervades our country, no effort must be spared to assure everyone that the process was fair and impartial. Lingering doubts that hang like a sword of Damocles over the head of the Commission must be removed. Confidence in the electoral process must be restored. This is essential, this is absolutely essential, if we as a nation are to move forward and strive to heal the wounds that divide us. Let fairness pervade all of our actions at all times." End quote. I could not have said it better. I would add that going forward, all must strive to encourage respect for the other. While elections are often fraught with anxiety, and sadly even a lot of hostility, it must be remembered that the election staff are human and they must be treated with respect. Leaders of the respective political parties must encourage, encourage their supporters to be civil, respectful, and responsible. The integrity of our nation demands that we act responsibly. In this regard, I am compelled to again admonish, admonish all to respect the processes and orders of the court. When the vote count for nine regions had been verified and declared, the opposition PPP had won six of the nine regions and was 52,000 votes ahead. But with the report of Region 4, the APNU plus AFC coalition was put in the lead and on course to win the elections. The PPP said the figures were doctored.